From Bunchlong Country, this is Sunday Mass with Bishop Greg Homie. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Let's once again acknowledge our failings and our need of God's love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. Christ you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have and may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and Amen. on earth peace, peace to people, people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we, we glorify you, you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, Lord, heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, Lord God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you, you take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. us. You take, take away, away the sins of the world, world. receive our, our prayer. prayer. You, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, Father. have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortalities, frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. From Rephidim, the Israelites set out again, and when they reached the wilderness of Sinai, there in the wilderness, they pitched their camp. There facing the mountain, Israel pitched camp. Moses then went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Say this to the house of Jacob, declare this, to the sons of Israel. You yourselves have seen what I did with the Egyptians, how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. From this you know that now, if you obey my voice and hold fast to my covenant, you of all the nations shall be my very own for all the earth is mine. I will count you a kingdom of priests, a consecrated nation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We, we are, are his, his people, people, the sheep, sheep of, his, of flock. his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for you. We, we are, we his, are his, people, his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are, we are his, his people, people, the sheep of his, his flock. flock. Indeed, how good <coughs> is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful. 
from age to age. We are, we are his, his people, people, the sheep of his flock. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We were still helpless when at his appointed moment Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die for a good man even, though of course for someone really worthy, a man might be prepared to die. But what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely that he would now fail to save us from God's anger? When we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, we were still enemies. Now that we have been reconciled, surely we may count on being saved by the life of his son. Not merely because we've been reconciled, but because we are filled with joyful trust in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have already gained our reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them, because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is rich, but the labourers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send labourers to the harvest. He summoned twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits, with power to cast them out and to cure all kinds of diseases and sicknesses. These are the names of the twelve disciples. First, Simon, who was called Peter, his brother James, the son of Zebedee, his brother John, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, the one who was betray him. These are the twelve Jesus sent out, instructing them as follows. Do not turn your steps to pagan territory. Do not enter any Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, proclaim the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick. Raise the dead. Cleanse the lepers. Cast out devils. You receive without charge. Give without charge. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was growing up, we were never allowed, we young ones, to call people by their name. Even a cousin who was older than you, you had to call them by a very polite name. Elder brother so-and-so or elder sister this. Others were called according to how they, were re how they were related to you. And the only people you called by name were people younger than you or at a similar level. That's peculiar, I, I believe, to Oriental culture and perhaps to some other cultures, simply because the name is so significant. We have something similar in the Old Testament when Moses goes to the to the place where there is a burning bush and he goes there and at the end he says to the person speaking who shall I say has sent me and God won't give a name I am who am is all you need to say but a name I won't give it to you you cannot have my name 
because to have the name of someone denotes some kind of relationship and also some kind of the ability to, to demand something even. But you will not have my name, said God. I am who I am. In today's gospel, we have that wonderful moment where the 12 apostles are named. Simon called Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, Simon, Jude, and so on. The 12 apostles, each one is named. And yet the odd thing about them, as we look at them, we virtually know nothing about them. We know a little bit about St. Peter, not much. We know a little bit about Judas because he betrayed Jesus. We know a very small amount about John, who was able to run faster than Peter to the tomb. But all the other things we know are stories and we don't know how much truth is there. We've got those stories because people want to know who are these people that are named? We don't know who they are. And the gospel leaves almost all of them named with nothing about them. Some have a few words. We don't know the way. How we know the way? I don't believe that he's risen from the dead. But beyond those few things, we have very little about any of them. What is significant is the names are given to us. In a society where names would seldom have been given, I think it shows us one very important thing. Whether we know their history or not is neither here nor there. What is important is that Jesus called them by name. When we die, whether anyone knows we existed or not, is neither here nor there. What is important is that for each of us, we've been called by name. And to be called by name and to be named means that I have a relationship with Jesus Christ. I think that's the first powerful thing that this gospel tells us. Like each of these people, we don't have to be important, but what makes us significant is Jesus has called me by my name. And because I have this name, I have a relationship with him. And because I'm named by him, I'm entitled to speak with him and to ask things of him. And not only that, I'm called by name and therefore I will become like the one who has named me. I'm called to grow with him, to live, as he says, in friendship with him. And as that friendship and that relationship grows, whether I have a history which anyone knows afterwards, whether or not I will become like the one who has befriended me, and today's gospel is simply about that. We belong to a religion which is a religion of name. And that naming gives relationship with Jesus Christ. And the relationship with Jesus Christ, in fact, is not only transforming, but it gives me some kind of rights in relation to him. And in all of that, because it's about friendship with the one who has named me, who has called me friend, I will grow and develop according to this friend who loves me. And let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. 
From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As people called by name to follow Jesus Christ, let us turn to his Father with our prayers. That more men and women may be called to serve God's people as priests and religious. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations not yet open to the gospel may become fertile fields for the sowing of God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work as priests, sisters, brothers, catechists and lay ministers may inspire others to join them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always encourage and work with those who serve in special ministries in this community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are sick and bereaved may receive healing and acceptance through Christ and the intercession of St Mary of the Cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the reconciling sacrifice of Christ may bring the dead to glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice under your hands, for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourish us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to our fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 <coughs> holy. Heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is, is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. <coughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, <coughs> the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Teresa, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. <coughs> Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. <coughs> but only say the word and my soul shall be. The body of Christ. Amen.
And let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. a new heart, holy Lord, beckon our lives to your word, open our eyes to your call, united as one, for your world, heighten our minds to your thoughts, heal us of pride.